an overview of the Kindle and EPUB Fiction eBook course. By clicking on Read Me First in the course, you come to this page, and I'd like to go over a little bit of what you're going to learn. In section one, this is what we're doing right here is the overview, so apparently you're seeing it. Now in section two videos, preparing your manuscript, I show you how to take a word processing program, whether it be Word or OpenOffice, or even if you're using something for the Mac, how to prepare your manuscript so that you can make your ebook. From there, we go into section three videos, and I'm going to show you how to download and install the free software. And I'm going to explain just exactly what's in it and what you need to know. We're also going to add helpers and also viewers to this software so that you'll have an easier time making your ebook. You'll be adding the Kindle Gen and the EPUB Check. And the EPUB Check is so that your ebook validates and is good to go for Apple's iBooks. Now, in section four videos, we're going to create your book and we're going to make it into an EPUB and a Kindle book. Now from there, once we've converted the text into HTML with a click of a button, we're going to go into the Section 5 videos. And this is where I go really in depth on how to polish your ebook. In other words, format it correctly. And this will be adding quotes, adding poetry code if you need to, adding images, anything that relates to making your fiction ebook look great. Now in the section six videos, when you click on it, what you're going to do is be shown videos on how to add your book to Amazon and also about its reports. Now in section seven videos, we're going to add your book to Barnes and Noble's Pubit. And in the section eight videos, I'm going to show you how to edit your, and republish your book if you need to. And in section nine, of course, is a recap where I just go over a few important points and also give you some tips. So that's it for the overview. Make sure that when you're going through the course, you watch the videos. Probably a good idea is to go all the way through the videos and then come back and as you're doing things, go to the video, pause it, restart it, pause it, and do what you need to do. You'll also be given a cheat sheet and an example folder which has what you need. So look for that in the course. And in the next video, we're going to go into section two and prepare your manuscripts.